Hey guys, I built this super satisfying little gadget that spins, draw patterns on sand and then wipes them clean. It's actually pretty easy to make if you have a 3D printer. I designed the entire thing myself in Fusion 360 so let's go ahead and print all the components on my 3D printer. Alright, all the parts came out perfectly. I went with black, white and grey color scheme to give it a clean minimal look. Now let's talk about the electronics we'll need for this project. First, we need a microcontroller. I'm using this ESP32C6 from Waveshare. Compact, powerful and perfect for a project like this. Next, there is this N20 motor with an integrated motor driver which makes it super easy to control. Then we have got a barrel jack for power input and finally an ERGB LED strip for lighting, optional but it adds a really nice touch. That's all we need for the electronics so let's move on to the assembly. First detach the integrated driver from the motor. Once that done solder a pair of wire to the motor. We'll reconnect the driver later. Now place the motor inside the main enclosure and secure it just like I'm showing the video. Take the ARGB LED strip and install it inside the enclosure, about 10mm below the top edge. Perfect, that's done. Now it's time to reconnect the motor driver to the motor wires. Then grab the microcontroller and solder a pair of wire to the 5 volt and ground pin. After that, solder the LED wire to pin 0 and motor control wire to pin 1. Finally, take the power input jack and solder all the positive wires together and all the negative wire together. This gives us a clean shared power input for the whole system. Alright the electronics are all set, now let's install the power socket in its place and we are ready to move on to the code. Before we continue, a big shout out to Altium for sponsoring this video. Altium is known for powering some of the world's most advanced PCB design workflows and if you're a student, Altium offers something incredibly valuable, the Altium Student Lab. It gives you free access to industry-level design experiences and a complete PCB learning program that walks you through everything from core concept to practical design fundamentals like layout, routing, manufacturing and supply chain basics. You will work on real-world projects, build job-ready skills and earn an official course certificate that helps your resume stand out and open doors to future opportunities. Enroll is completely free so if you want to take your electronic career to the next level, check out the link below and join LTM Student Lab today. Coming back to the video, here's the code. It's pretty simple. Just select the correct port, upload it and feel free to customize it however you like. Ok, the codes are uploaded. Let's glue the microcontroller in place so it doesn't move around. After that, we'll install the remaining 3D printed parts and complete the build. So finally guys, the project is complete and it's looking really nice. Let's power it up and see it in action. It runs on 5V 2A, so do not plug in 12V or you will fry the microcontroller. Now let's connect it to the phone. Just open your Wi-Fi settings, select the device network and connect. Then open the Chrome and go to the URL shown on the screen. From here you can control everything, motor speed, direction, LED colors, effects, all super straightforward. Now it's time to pour the sand, but sadly I couldn't find the white sand anywhere in my hometown so I decided to use the secret ingredient, table salt. It has a similar texture so it should work just fine. And if not, I'm ready to try flour instead. Just kidding, salt is perfect. But I think why not enhance the effect a bit. 
So I'm gonna mix a tiny pinch of turmeric powder and this time I'm not kidding. As you can see it looks beautiful and calming. You can use it with the lights on or off but personally I think it looks even better without the lights. And that's it for this video guys. I hope you like this project. All files are linked in the description below. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more awesome DIY builds. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Until then, bye bye.